Sometimes you say you're going to the facts. And today, I'll bring you an epic tutorial. Oh, yes. Okay, so today, I'm gonna tell you how can you remove your green screen, the blue screen, or like every screen from your footage in Nuke. Yes. But, but before starting this, guys, must like, must share, must comment because these things help me to grow my channel up and I need your support. So, guys, don't forget. Okay, so before starting the tutorial, let's see a footage first. Okay, just let me just uh, play this shit. Okay, so this is our footage on green screen. We're gonna make an offer mat for our footage. So let's <coughs> so let's start it. Okay, but first uh, let me just change the view because I don't like this view. I like this view. And guys, there's a shortcut Shift F3 for this view. And to restore your default view, Shift F4. Okay, uh, so there are like a lot of ways to key out your footage, but we're gonna use. But I'm gonna tell you one of them. I'm gonna use IBK handles, and IBK handle, like IBK gizmo and IBK color, they use together. So we're gonna use both of them, IBK gizmo and IBK color. Okay, so connect your IBK color to your footage, and then connect your viewer to IBK color. And then double click on IBK color and switch your mode blue to green like this basically what we're gonna do we make a we're gonna make a clean uh, clean back plate uh, just tweak your settings basically this is a completely experimental part just tweak the setting size and all these things to make a to create a clean BG clean background uh, in this case I know my setting so I'm gonna put those values but in your case, you have to trick your settings and find your values. Okay, so now, <coughs> okay, so now just go uh, move uh, move into IBK Gizmo, connect your C to your IBK color and FG to your uh, to your footage, and then connect your viewer to your IBK Gizmo and double click it and change C blue to C green. Yes, and now you guys can see it remove your green screen. And basically, but it also gave you nice grainy look. You can just uh, hit auto level to remove these grains like this. Hold on, just let me show you these grains. Just hit auto level to remove these grains and click yellow to back your to back your colors like this. Okay. So basically, you guys can see we get a nice alpha, but we need motion blur on side because our character is moving and we need a nice fall of blurry look on edges so basically we're gonna make two mat, two alpha mat uh, we're gonna use this mat for the inner and the second mat for the outer blurry edge look so we're gonna just go to here and go, you select your prime mat and select your footage <coughs> select it from your, uh, to your footage okay so basically uh, in this uh, prime mat we're gonna tell him or like what is background what is foreground just um, Press Control Shift and drag uh, to select the region that you that you want to select, and just tell him what is foreground, what is background, and, and it automatically analyze everything like this. This is really good and powerful too to key out your footage. One of them. <laughs> okay, so this is really good. So we get a nice solid alpha channel, and now we but we need a nice blurry edge, um, nice blurry look. So what we're gonna use? We're gonna put the erode filter to give a nice fall off. So, ju so just hit, hit tap and write, uh, write erode and select your erode filter and connect under your primate. Uh, and now just uh, change it to Gaussian and we need in alpha. So, select your alpha and increase your size. When you increase the size, you can see it gives a nice, nice blurry look. Yeah yeah so what you have to do now we're going to uh, merge uh, both of first just hit M for the merge not shortcut and select your B and A and we now we merged our both of us now you can see okay. uh, but you can you guys got also see the extra track points we have to also remove those so basically what we're gonna do we're going to make a garbage roto for this and subtract that roto from our alpha so this just so hit O for the for the roto and make a garbage roto like this. 
and we have to also animate it because uh, our footage is moving so I will back in soon okay so guys I made <coughs> I made uh, my sorry I made my garbage auto and animated it also for all our character for this girl also because basically what we what I'm what I'm gonna do I'm gonna subtract this garbage auto from my alpha so just hit M for the merge node select A to merge and B to our garbage auto and double click it and switch over to mask yes and now when you're gonna hit A you can see our alpha and now it remove those drag points this is down simple we we're gonna hit b for the blur knot and we're going to give a soft edge on the edges okay and you guys also can see we get a nice detail like this you can see in hairs really nice okay so this is really good so, so what you're gonna do now we now we have our alpha and now we're gonna send our alpha into our footage so just copy paste your footage hit k for the copy nerd select a to merge b to from your footage and and hit a to see your alpha and footage basically what we done we send our alpha channel into our footage and now just simply hit tab and write pre merge and put it in and now you guys can see basically we separated it or we separate our footage uh, yeah and guys you can also see uh, we have a green spill in our footage so you guys can also download my free green dispel gizmo the download link in the description basically it do a magic just download it and just go into file go into import comp nodes and find this gizmo and select and open it basically it do a magic basically it remove your green spill from your footage just select it and open hit open you will get a gizmo node gizmo one just connect it under your primers and then you can see a magic boom it remove your green spill yes okay when you, you can you guys can see this is really good Note. and just and when you guys gonna uh, just double click it on this and you guys you will see some options like mix you can <coughs> you have like full control on this and you have also some color grading nodes also uh, if you want to like color grade your footage or you, you have little bit settings like this and you have gamma also so this is pretty big so yeah now we are almost completed it just put a background behind your footage and uh, <coughs> it, it look good and like i already created a background on this limit oh yeah here's it so basically i done nothing i just put a, a bot image behind it and it's looking really good it just i done i done some li little bit of color, color correction in a footage to, to blend a scene and guys you can see it really good, look good yeah so that's how we key out from the footage this is industry standard advanced technique king advanced technique and guys if you have any specific tutorial requests just let me know I will make that for you until then peace out go ahead and do it with me it's like Russian roulette with six bullets. Don't